representing Rebel Access, and I'm your host, Evil Blonde. Today I'm here at the House of Blues with Devil Driver. Hello. Hello. Go ahead and choose yourself. I'm Berkland. I play drums, Devil Driver. <laughs> Des Fafara. I do other things in Devil Driver. <laughs> All right. So about how long has Devil Driver been together? Uh, I met Berklin in 2000 and... I think one. 2001. Yeah, this is a question we've never been asked, so let, us like, let us like hook up you on had this. To. <laughs> no, we met before 2001, and we decided to really hang out and booze in 2001 together. <laughs> and then uh, found out that he played an instrument, and we got together. 2002, started jamming? Yeah, something like that, 2002, and we met at a bar. We got wasted. That started from there, and then. Um, Is that when you put your number on a napkin and gave it to him? That was the <laughs> original guitar player that now now left. That was Evan Pitts. Um, no, but the story how I met him is even better. Oh, let's hear that. Because there was two guitar players there. He tells it better than I do. Because I. So we, were, we were sitting there, and and I had been rumored it's a small town that we live in that he wanted to start another band. So I asked him, "Hey, man, I heard you want to start a band. I'm, I play guitar. I'd like to do it." And uh, he he goes, "Why should I pick you over this kid?" And I was like, "That guy can." shred my face off way better player than me but he can't write a song so that was then he goes honesty <laughs> <laughs> and that was it <laughs> yeah. all um, right uh, let's talk a little bit about the name devil driver i know it comes from uh you know some bells that which is used to ward off evil tell us a little bit about that we had a million names first we were called death ride and the label for some reason there wasn't uh there was a million things that were copyrighted as that you know a bike ride and all sorts of sh couldn't use it and uh, we had a bunch of names picked out and uh, in the end uh, my wife ended up looking up into an uh, Italian witchcraft book that I had and it she said devil driver it means to drive away evils it, it's the bells that they use to drive away evil and I called John and he goes oh it was the first time he first of all he gets excited at nothing <laughs> right I mean nothing's too nothing. nothing is nothing's too good so if you run it by him and he likes it like the artwork for the new album he liked it I was like oh that's great you know Perfect. Yeah, he's a great guy to run stuff by, you know. Excellent. Um, who would you say are your biggest musical influences? Either like an artist or a group? It's what genre, what era, you know, it can go on forever. So if you want to say what we do, more metal, I would, uh, just the classic stuff like Metallica, Pantera, and uh, Testament, later Testament more so than older. Uh, stuff like that, you know. And then with a little bit of the death metal in there, a little bit of cannibal, more of an angel, stuff like that, but nothing too obscure. Anything you'd like to add? I listen to a lot of blues. So I listen to a lot of blues. I listen to a lot of metal. Stuff I'm listening to right now is like Satyricon, and okay. Amon Amarth, stuff like that. Um, you guys are on Roadrunner right now. How do you feel about Roadrunner? How's it working out? Well, Devil Driver's been with him for five years, and I've been with him for 12. So I think that uh, as far as a metal label goes, they know how to do their thing. And uh, they've been treating us well, and, and you know, you, you can't complain, really, you know, so. Excellent. All right, you got an album coming out. Um, tell us about that, Last Kind Words. Comes out July 31st. It's like, by far, our most uh, intelligent effort, you know, um, mature songwriting and longer songs, heavier, abrasive. And if you like the first two albums, I can't see why you don't like this one. And, and I said it before, too, that if you don't like our first two albums, I think this one will be for you. Because if you didn't like us because we weren't maybe you know, extreme enough for you, that this one could be the record that you could pick up and maybe get into. Excellent. Well, we'll be looking forward to that for sure. <laughs> um, what would you say is your favorite song to play live? Like maybe a song that really gets the crowd worked up, you know, a good mosh pit going, something like that. We always end with Meet the Wretched, and that's what happens with the Devil Driver Circuit Pit is Meet the Wretched. So. I'm really into playing end of the line. I like just playing the intro over the PA and stuff kind of gets sets a mood for a good show. Right. Something fun to walk out to. Um, something interesting I read was that uh, Phil Anselmo actually called you guys the next Pantera. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I don't know. You can't. First of all, you can't. That. You can't mess with Philip. He's the best frontman out there. Many people out there know I've been friends with him for a long time. We actually heard that together. We did a 10-day, 12-day press tour or something like that in Europe, me and Brooklyn, and somebody brought that up, and uh, that kind of a comment humbles you. You don't know what to say, really, to that. Uh, yeah, when 
do you say that? You don't. <laughs> You're just like, wow. Thanks, thanks, bro. Yeah, but there'll never be another. No one's trying to do that. Right. We could never hold a candle to that band. All the things that you have to say in order to even humble yourself before a comment like that makes you say, well, thanks, bro. And then, you know, after all of that, you go, thanks, man. I'll do a shot of whiskey for you saying that, you know. That is pretty, that's something. <laughs> you can't hold a candle to that band. No. I mean, every single person in that band is an, is an ultimate player, and we have yet to become that. We will eventually, but that comment, we, we say thank you to that and leave it at that. All right, what else is in the future for Devil Driver? What can we be looking forward to? Touring. Touring. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get our summer plans solidified here pretty soon. <laughs> and then uh, the we're going to, you know, we're going to try and do the, <laughs> We're doing the Europe headline run. We're going to hit Australia. We're going to make it to Japan. We're going to do all the markets. South America. Possible South Mar South America. <laughs> um, you know, stuff like that. We're just going to tour and, uh, on the release of the record. We do, we'll do 450 shows on this record before we even begin to start to slow down. So we won't be home for two years or something like that. Wow. Yeah. Um, what kind of advice would you give to aspiring musicians who kind of want to be where you are today? Write songs and focus in on writing the best songs you can first before anything. Before, to more importantly to me, even before you start playing live, and 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 get a good recording of what you're happy with, and then start to do it from there. If you don't have a song, you don't got nothing. You don't, know. Don't follow. So even if you're listening to your stuff and it sounds different or sounds out of the scope of what you're into or what your band members are into, do something different. That would be the main thing. It's what Devil Driver tries to do, is just define ourselves and who we are and, what, and our sound from everybody else. And I think if, if bands really focused in on that, the, the first thing would definitely be what John said, which is songwriting. But um, do, what you want to do. do what you want to do, and, but focus in on something different. It really, you know, if it comes out sounding like your favorite band, you're not on the uh, same, you're not on the good wavelength. But also at the same time, figure out what you want out of it. If, you, if you're happy just playing metal at your local bar, then do that, you know. <laughs>